months back, we created this Curves logo using graphics on Canva. I got a request on comments to say that, can we create it ourselves? And I said, challenge accepted. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be creating this A with the spaces. And this is a Canva Pro video. So you need to have Canva Pro, but you're welcome to try it on my description below and test it and see how you like it. So stick with me because I also want to show you when you are converting your logo to try and get rid of the pixelation, what you need to do so that it is nice and smooth. So let's jump in and create our A logo. You're going to access canva.com. You're going to select a blank logo canvas. Once it has opened up, then you're going to go to your elements and go to your lines and shapes and click see all. You're going to scroll down to your shapes and you're going to look for this shape that's called trapezoid up and you're going to click on it once and it would land on your canvas. We're going to change the color of this one and make it a nice bright blue. And once you've changed color, you're going to drag your trapezoid and you're going to squeeze it and align it to the size that you want awesome once you've aligned it and sized it the way that you want you're going to duplicate your shape so you click on it once and you click on duplicate because canva has added the duplicate when you have selected your elements and then you're going to make the size of the second trapezoid smaller and add it on the bigger trapezoid, change color and make it white. Once you are happy with your A, you're gonna go back to your elements and you're going to look for a half circle because now you would like to create a gap on your A so that you're able to add a design on top of the gap. So we're gonna search for half circle. So let me also show you that Canva has added a new categories that are browse categories there's recently used lines and shape and so on to make it easy for us to search for elements so if you click on half circle you're going to go to your graphics and you're going to scroll down until you find a half circle that can go over the line and create that curve on our a so i found this one that's called half circle pattern illustration so you click on it once and you flip it horizontally and then you start aligning it and now what you're going to be doing is to create the gap so i'm happy with this it depends where you want your curve to be so you're going to move it until you're happy with your curve and then you're going to change it to a white color so that you start creating that gap then you're going to duplicate this half circle curve all the way until you have the gap exactly the way that you want Then I'm happy with my A and that part one is done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to shape and I'm going to download my design with a transparent background and I'm going to download it not as a PNG, but I'm going to download it as an SVG. And the reason why you download it as an F SVG is that when you want to upload it back again and you start squeezing and stretching it starts pixelating whereas if you download it as an svg this is the design for web designs and animations and logos and it looks like this let me show you you saw earlier on it looks when i uploaded it as a png it pixelates like that and it looks horrible whereas if you download it as an svg it's crisp and it's on point it looks professional and it makes your work look absolutely gorgeous which is why when you downloading it you're going to download it as an svg 
I'm going to download it as a transparent background and then I'm going to add an extra page and upload my SVG file to my design. So I'm going to add an extra page and I'm just going to drag my SGV file to the design and then it's going to upload on my uploads. And there's our design. And once you are happy and it has uploaded, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to start stretching it to the size that I want. As you see, when I stretch an SVG file, it doesn't pixelate like PNG does. So, and when you are designing using Canva, you can only download SVG if you have a Premiere Pro account, which is why go test it out using the description below to see if it does help your business along when you are creating logos. And it has helped my videos on YouTube. So I'm going to stretch it and it looks absolutely crisp. Next, I'm going to go to my elements. I'm, I'm going to look for a curve line. And that curve line is the one that I'm going to add on my A so that it looks amazeballs. So I'm going to search for curve line. And then I'm going to look for graphics. And I will scroll down until I find the one that I want. This is the one that I've used and I like. You can use any one that works for you and your design. You click on it once and it adds to your design and then you start tweaking and adding and squeezing to exactly the design that you want to see. And I'm going to add this other curve line as well. Okay, you decide how you eventually want your design to look like. Then the last thing that you would do is to add the name of the company that you're designing for. So you're going to press your T for text and add the name of the company at the bottom of the page. I'm going to go to my elements and go to my lines and shapes and add that nice box around my text and that would be the end of the logo we jump into photo p and we convert it to 3d cool then we're going to go to our share and we're going to download number two as a transparent background i always jump to remove.bg just to check and make sure that all of my whites have been removed um, you can always also do this on Canva and remove your background. In What I mean by that, upload it again on Canva and then go to your ear, edit and remove the background there. So I'm going to download it. It's removed. It's gorgeous. I'm happy. I'm going to jump to Photo P. When I've accessed PhotoP.com, I click on PSD templates. And then I'm going to go to mockups and I'm going to look for a mock-up that i want to use for our example let's try this realistic glossy one we click on it once and we click where it says photop.com and we wait and then we double click where it says your logo here and we hide the text then we drag our png logo that we've downloaded we size it we align it we go file save a smart object and we wait and we click where it says glass wall logo and we wait and your logo is converted so if you don't like some of the background effects that are on your 3d there are layers that would give you a leeway to hide them like this one when you switch the first background it gives you this nice wall with a flower kind of a background so if this is the one that you want to go with then you're going to go file export as and you choose the format that you want to export it as and you reduce the size if you don't like pixelation and you click on save and when you open that up your logo looks absolutely nice with a flower and it's gorgeous then you can Download it and use it for yourself or share it with your customer depending on who you're designing for. You could watch the next video that we created that helps you create a slashed text logo. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you on the next video.